Hey guys, Matt here, and in today's video, I have some more of my uh, great grandpa's knives I I just recently uh, got, and the first one I want to showcase is uh, from a tool shop, and as you can see, it's just a uh, generic uh, knife, as you can see, it says uh, stainless on here, it's probably just, uh, just some uh, generic uh, knife he got. And as you can see, it has just the button on the back, which you can open and close. It honestly opens and closes uh, pretty nicely, too. And um, it also has the uh, carrying case here, as you can see. It's just uh, cloth. It's overall not a bad uh, little knife. And the next knife I want to showcase is a, uh, is a uh, stag knife. And unfortunately, the, uh, the plastic... Uh, um, grip on here is no longer uh, there. I think it came off a while ago And as you can see it it's in a uh, um, Rough shape. There's a lot of rusting on it, and it's not as uh, nice of an example as my other uh, Stag knife I have as you can see this is the uh, comparison of the two and This one yeah, this one definitely is a little bit in a rougher shape but this one has a nice little uh, carrying case to it, too. So that's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's made of uh, leather. So it's pretty cool. And the uh, next knife I wanted to showcase is just some uh, gene uh, some uh, fixed blade knife. And I'm not quite sure the uh, manufacturer. I'm guessing it's in Sweden. But it it's uh, cut off a bunch, as you can see. I think it's just been sanded a lot, so... So yeah, the manufacturer has been uh, um, taken off, unfortunately. So I have no idea anything about this knife, other than it's just it's a kind of a cool little knife. And the next uh, knife I want to showcase is a uh, Cutco knife. And honestly, this one's uh, really cool. I really like the uh, the leather case on it, as you can see. And this one does have uh, two blades on it. And um, this one's just a generic uh, knife, as you can see. It's pretty cool. And then the other uh, knife over here, it's a little tough to open. This one's tough to open, but there we go. It's a saw blade on it, so that's pretty cool. And the uh, handle, too, is made of uh, metal, too, as you can see. So overall, this is just a cool... Uh, this one's also a, a cool knife. Let me get this out real quick. And uh, let's get the next one. And this is and um, this is a uh, an old crafting knife, as you can see. It's made by a uh, craftsman. Ow! Should be careful. Bloody gloves. But anyways, uh, this one it has uh, three blades on it, as you can see. This is the uh, first blade, small. Gotta be careful with that, cause I poked myself with it. Go figure. And uh, let's get this one out. So this one's uh, pretty tough to open, but still pretty cool. I like the uh, the three blades on it. And let's get the third one out if I can get it. There we go. And yeah, the the rusting on these aren't uh, too bad either. And I will be doing a full length video on all these, so uh, please stay tuned for that. And uh, this is the uh, handle too, as you can see. It's made of a uh, plastic. And the uh, next knife I want to showcase is is uh, this one right here. I have no idea the uh, manufacturer of it. This one's probably uh, um, newer because it says uh, stainless and uh, China, as you can see. So this one's this one's probably fairly newer. But overall, it's pretty cool. It does look rustic, which is pretty cool. I like the. Uh, like the uh, um, like the brass and the wood uh, handle on it, which is pretty cool. And the uh, last knife I want to showcase is a uh, another uh, three bladed knife. And uh, let's see if I can get it open. And this is the uh, ah, first blade, as you can see. It does have some rusting on it, but it is what it is. And uh, let's get the uh, second one out. And this is made in uh, Walden, New York, USA. So that's pretty cool. And I'm not sure the brand, though, of it. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, third. Uh, 
Boy, I think I just opened that one. Can't remember. Sorry, my memory is terrible. See if I can get this one open. There we go. I think it was this one, but... Anyways, and overall, I, I also really like the fact it's a wooden handle, too. And you have a brass... Actually, no, it's a... It's hard to tell with this lighting, but it's like uh, steel. So overall, they're just uh, really cool knives. I will be, like I said, in the, like I said, I'll be doing a uh, full-length video on these. So please stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification down below. And if you have any other suggestions on videos I should make, please leave them in the comments down, down below. Love to read them. And uh, thank you again for watching, and uh, peace out.